Today, actually tonight, <laughs> this morning, I don't know. Um, we are going to keep rolling with the Ben Milam's liquors. Okay, this we got a little test drive. This is called the Provision Distillers Gin, and it comes in at 46% alcohol by volume or 92 proof. Now, uh, we tried a little bit and we talked to Marlene Holmes and she, we, we were saying how this would probably taste good in a gimlet and she's never heard of a gimlet. So we're going to make one today for her. <laughs> really easy to make, really quick. And they were pretty good. Um, so I got the little setup going on and we are going to try the gin because we didn't get to try it out of the bottle. And she got to finger it out of the tap. <laughs> <laughs> huh, baby? You got it at 160 proof. So they make this one on site, and they were brewing some while we were there, and my baby got to try some out of the tap. I mean, right as they were making it. So, <sighs> and got the gear, got the shirt, got the cup. <laughs> Rocket. You do love it when you get to buy things. I get to buy things sometimes. Wow. Now with the, with this gin, I, I never thought I would like gin. And this is the second one I've tried. But the flavors these have are just kicking. Um, they have juniper berry. I mean, she went on with the list that this has in it that just amazes me. Um, it, it has juniper berries, it has uh, citrus rind, it has uh, red peppercorns, it has... No, it wasn't red, it was pink peppercorns. Pink peppercorns. And all kinds of stuff in this. But the flavors, I mean, just to smell the flavors in there, I mean, you pick up the juniper berries, you pick up... I get pepper, but nobody else does. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but Marlene said one of the other guys there picks up the pepper, so it's not just me. We pick up the pepper. It must be a guy thing. Okay. Or she was just telling you that to make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> she could have been. Uh, she's very nice. Um, but it's so clean smelling. And at 46%, this will get it and get you through the night. Yeah, but it's not like, it's not, it's not super burny. Like, you know? It's got intense flavors. I pick up, okay. It's got lemon rind in it because you can pick up that lemon citrus. It's got the juniper berries. You can pick up the juniper. I pick up the pepper because I get that in the aftertaste and while I'm drinking it. But there's so much flavor in this gin. It's rocking. And it's pretty smooth. And it's got that, that licorice. It's got the anise yes. in it. The licorice flavors. I mean, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. Um, and it's super clear. So, well, my cup's probably not very clean, but it's super clear. <laughs> but it's a smooth, you can drink this totally straight and be fine and be on your merry way. But we're today going to try out the Gimlet again. Um, very easy to make. So I'll set that aside. Now this one. You don't shake it, you stir it. Ooh, did so you find a different recipe? No, the same recipe. Oh, okay. I forgot. Well, it's been it's been a while since we made it. Um, but very very easy to do. I, I think gotta, the last time you made it though, you used the squeezy bottle line. I never used like, a squeezy bottle. What are you talking about? Right out the bottle. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're creeping. But I guess I could have done this beforehand, you know. 
Honey, everybody wants to see you fight a lion. <laughs> These are really fresh and crisp. <laughs> They're not giving it up. Well, can I... What? Can, can you I, what? Can I give you a piece of advice? I'd say you come over here, but you ain't wearing pants. Okay. <laughs> the next line before you cut it, put it on the bar, and then press your hand and roll it. Roll it. No, roll it like... I'm rolling, rolling. No, you're just shaking it back and forth. Literally, I'm roll rolling. it across the bar. Roll it across the bar. There. I roll it. Let's see if a rolling method works any better. No, it's still crisp. <laughs> These not, must be really, really fresh. Did you not buy ripe limes? You were there too! You wouldn't let me touch the limes. Because you're picking out the ugly limes. I don't like I was... ugly limes. Okay. I like good looking limes. I like squishier limes oh. that have got juice in them. These got juice in them. They just don't want to give it up. They're like, no, Mr. Guy. I don't want to give up the juice. <laughs> All right. So, this one. Add some ice. There we go. And it's two ounces per cup. We're making this, we're gonna just gonna double it. So I'll just say what it says. Two ounces of the gin. And say it, baby. I know you want to say the line. Say it, baby. Make me a gimlet, James. <laughs> what is that from? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube? Yeah. All right. Then it's three quarter ounce. I watch a lot of drama channels. <laughs> three quarter ounce of the lime juice. Hang on. Okay, I need just a little bit more lime juice. No. Well, if it's three quarters ounce twice, then it has to be an ounce and a half. I got that. I'm like a half ounce shy. <laughs> this might be getting. <laughs> Hang on. Ooh, homeboy came prepared. <laughs> I wonder why this is like, oh, there we go. There's a good one. I must have picked that one out. You picked them all out. <laughs> all right. Look at that, perfect. All right, so much for that one. And simple syrup. Uh, now I get to fight with this because I know it's been in the cooler. Okay. <laughs> they give me a headache. It looks like it's got some crystallized sugar in it. Maybe. And we keep shake it, it cool. up. Shake it up really good. I did shake it. Shake it some more. <sighs> okay. And then three quarter ounce of the simple syrup, and we use the Ready Rabbit simple syrup. Ooh, it's so thick and creamy looking. <laughs> so weird. You're a weirdo. <laughs> All right. I have to say this is one of my favorite drinks. Yeah, believe it or not, we uh, tried this and didn't believe. We thought it would just taste like a weird old guy drink. Well, yeah, because, you know, it's like 1930s or whatever. And they used to put meat in jello. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it says you got to stir it like this. Don't shake it. So I'm not sure exactly what that's all about, but... Sometimes I read directions. 
<laughs> Ooh. And then we'll pull off the martini glass. Uh, all right. So, oh wait. I gotta get this all awesome. I'll cut my fingers off. Bam, bam. And bam. And then strain into the cup. I'll make sure you get some too. That's how cool I am. And look at that. And they said you can garnish it with a lime or with a cucumber. I like lime because, you know, hey, it's a lime. I don't think I've ever had a cocktail that had a cucumber in it. It's a little garnish with a cucumber. Maybe it's for the smell. You never know. Here, you take that. If you're eating smelly cucumbers, <laughs> no. you're buying your vegetable from the wrong place. But that's the gimlet. It's so good. Mm. Now that brings out more flavors and it's just spot on. So Marlene, if you're out there, if you're watching today, you should try this gimlet because they are smoking. Really easy. Two ounces, uh, three quarter ounce of the lime juice and three quarter ounce simple syrup. Mm -hmm. Boom, Gimlet. Gimlet. Perfect, it's clean and crisp. And it brightens the flavors of the gin. Mm -hmm. They really come out. You don't really taste the lime, do you? A little bit, but that's because I'm drinking like right by the lime wedge. It, it just, it highlights every flavor in that. <sighs> I don't like it. Mm. So that's what we got for today. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go have some of these. Since I already got it set up. Um, but we'll see you Wednesday. What do we got for Wednesday? A beer. A beer. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you Wednesday with a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back Wednesday. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>